Talk time with Reed So Moriarty. we are at the Kennedy House interviewing <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. You're the founding father of the United States, well, Benjamin I'm, Franklin. I am one of many, yes. $100 bills are sometimes called Benjamins because your face is on it, Benjamin. So they what tell me. What do you think of that? <laughs> well, I, I think it's wonderful, but they don't give me any of them. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, you should get one. If you have one, I'll autograph it for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Benjamin, let's play a game. Which All right. do you prefer? Things you invented, bifocals, or the lightning rod? What was that second one? Bifocals. Five. If there is a, a thunderstorm going on, I'm very happy to have the lightning rod. Okay. But when I'm trying to read it, uh, and also look away from time to time, I'm very to ha happy to have those bifocal glasses. All right. So everything for it has its own purpose, you see. All right. Jobs you've had. Ambassador to France or Postmaster General? Well, Postmaster General was a very challenging job because uh, trying to get the mail delivered to all the colonies was difficult because sometimes we didn't have very many roads. So uh, we had to be very creative in figuring out where to build roads. But Ambassador to France was challenging in another way. It was uh, the, the future of our country depended on our uh, getting an alliance with the French. And so um, they were both challenging, but I suppose the, um, the, the uh, being ambassador to France was, uh, was uh, very uh, challenging in the sense if I, if, if I didn't want to be postmaster, they could have replaced me. But since I was the only American that the French knew, it was very important to go to France. So I think that was probably the, the more important of the two. All right. So the places you lived, Boston or Philadelphia? Oh, well, Boston was very important to me because my family was there. And as a child, it was a very special place to be. But I think as I grew older, uh, Philadelphia had more opportunities for me. All right. So, things you've published, Poor Richard's Almanac or Pennsylvania Gazette? Well, the Poor Richard's Almanac made me a lot more money. Of course. <laughs> so, do you like famous inventors, Elon Musk or you? Well, Elon Musk must be a fellow from your time, is that right? That's right. <laughs> Tell Benjamin. me about him. I don't know anybody from your time. When you were a printmaker, what was your go-to font or typeface? Oh, goodness. Uh, well, I had, there was a typeface that I actually developed that they called the, the Franklin type. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I just had, I think what it was, there, there were different fonts that we used for different purposes. And uh, so I think it just depended on the job. All right. And quite often my customers would request a particular typeface. All right. To tell you the truth, since my biggest job became as a young printer's apprentice, just composing the type, um, after a while, by the end of the day, they kind of all looked alike to me because my eyes got a little blurry. So, Benjamin, how did you come up with pseudonyms? Widow Do Good or Poor Richard? Well, the silence do good I came up with uh, because, as I said, we were in Boston, a very religious city, very Puritan, very religious, and I thought, what, these, what are these people going to like? They're going to like something that sounds holy, and there's nothing more holy than doing good. And I always tell, particularly when I get older people, I always tell them, because they remember when things were not as they are now, I say, I think the best part of that name that the old men in Boston liked was silence because they liked women to be silent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like your mother's time. Now, I'm sure your mother is, a, is allowed to speak in public and allowed to have an opinion. And women in that day were not so much allowed to have their own opinions. So when I said, I am a widow and my name is Silence Do Good, they thought, well, that's a great name for a woman until they read what I wrote because I was also saying things that maybe women didn't usually say. So what's the worst lightning storm you ever seen? I sailed across the Atlantic Ocean eight times, Reed, and you, 
almost, especially in the wintertime, you're going to encounter uh, thunderstorms at sea. So a couple of those uh, lightning, uh, those electrical storms that I witnessed while on a ship, and a very, an, an early 18th century ship, by the way, uh, were probably the worst I've seen because uh, uh, you're never fully protected when you're out at sea. All right. So, Benjamin, will you sign my book just the way you did the Declaration of Independence? Oh, certainly. Here you go. <laughs> Can I write a little bit? Sure. I'm giving you an inscription. Talk time with Reed Moriarty.